I'm Lucy. And I'm Kara. And tonight we are here with Bristol UBTV Nightlife. And we bring you Come, Come Sesh, Sesh with, with me. me. As you can probably not tell, we've been drinking a little bit. Just a little. Basically, we're going to go to school tonight and we're going to come back and pick up the camera and then go to um, Bristol's favourite drunk food spot. The spots. most iconic places to go to. Taka Taka, Donovan's, Hunger Hatch, that's closed. Those kind of places. And we're going to see like what actually goes on within those. And which is the best, most importantly. So, do you know what we'll do? We'll see you later. Okay, hi guys, so we've caught you outside Donovan's. Is this where you normally come to eat after a drunk night out? Always. Always? Always. Why is that? Loyalty lies with Donovan's. Mm -hmm. No taka taka for me. Oh, I kind of like taka taka. Ew. It's a bit controversial. Those do seem like the two kind of seminal, big drunk food places. So what sets Jason Donovan's apart? The name, the sauce, mm -hmm. the atmosphere. Okay, so um, I'm about to go into Donovan's and ask if any of them are actually called Jason because Jason Donovan's has been synonymous with really good times at university. So um, I'm just going to talk to them, okay? Hi, sorry. Are any of you actually called Jason? Can I ask? Yes, is it you? No, he's not here tonight. Jason's not here right now. So, where did Donovan's actually start? Well, it's a long story, but yeah. it's been nearly like 25 years, maybe. You must know how iconic you are like among students. How do you feel about that? Well, I love them. I love the students. Hey, look at him. He's so happy because he's going to have chips cheese and gravy or curry sauce, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so you guys have been telling me that you prefer yo-yo burger. That's a bit of a rogue choice. I mean, that's it. It's a rogue choice, but, you know, you spend some serious dollar in yo-yo burger, get all yeah. the sides in, you've got a meal for five. It's, it's incredible. Calamari. <laughs> calamari? Yeah. That's you, not conventional. You don't think, like, calamari on a night out, but you go and smash some calamari. If I was going to anywhere, I'd go to Triangle Grill. I'm not going to lie. Boss man is having more cheese. <laughs> so, okay, so right now we are in Triangle Grill, which I'm sure if you know it, you have enjoyed it. Um, so, guys, why are you here right now? We're at New Bridal. We're like, we need a munch. Come straight to here. The best offers and the best service. Yeah, this is the best place. <laughs> That's right. Hello. That's the reason we come here. That's the reason we come here. Where did you come from? Can I ask? Uh, Prism. I mean, no, but like, what are you doing? Like, wait, are you a sports night? Spoken. Why have you chosen Triangle Grill? Because it is the best, best, best food Way after a night out ever. Food. I've come here, I'm in fourth year. I've come here since first year. I actually got a trial shift in first year. Yeah. I loved it that much. I came here every night, didn't I? Me and Mem, we're just besties, best friends. Mem, Steve, <laughs> Hamza, everyone behind the counter. These guys are legends. I would recommend them to anyone, anyone coming to Bristol. Okay, ladies, so where have you just come from? School at Prism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so why have you come to Taka Taka tonight? Because it's the best. It is delicious. It's very delicious. Some people consider Taka Taka like a little bit of a religion. Like, come here every single night. There's that loyalty. Do you feel that fierce loyalty? Yeah. Have you been anywhere else in Bristol? Have you just stayed um, here? Well, yeah. obviously we go to John of Ours, but I've got a friend obviously. Who, who comes to Taka Taka religiously. Yeah. So, yeah. And, like, after the summer away, I was like, I want to go back to Taka Taka. <laughs> you miss Taka Taka more than your uni friends. Would you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask your name if that's okay? Yeah, of course, it's uh, George Kotias. And how long have you been working at Taka for? Uh, nine years now. Nine years, wow. So what made you first apply here? Uh, the boss is a very good friend of mine. He asked me to come and join his team and I've been with him ever since. And how have you enjoyed working here? It's a, it's a fun place to work. It's a loving place to work. It's a family and we're, we're not just working here. We are giving it to our home. So this is our home. It's not just and a so workplace. What do you think about the students that come here every single night? You know, I've been a student as well, so I'm happy when I see the students that they've had a good night out and they've come here and they're enjoying their food and just topping off the night with a really good takeaway to finish it off. You know, it's, it's good to enjoy life, yeah, you students, you have to do your lessons and study hard and stuff, but you know, you need to let off your steam. So they're a bunch of good guys, all of them. And you know, we've never had any problem with the students. We just love them. Uh, we have a little motto here, first never follows. What does that mean? We are first, we never follow.
So why are you guys here tonight? Chicken tikka wrap. You gotta get a chicken tikka wrap. What is so great about the chicken tikka wrap here? Oh, it's so peng. It's like the right amount of like spicy and chicken, and then they give you salad and like sauce. And for it's free. really, really like moist. It's not dry. So what are you eating? I'm eating a chicken wrap. And where did you get that from? Oh, I got it just from there, actually. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time you've had this chicken wrap? This is the first time I've had the chicken wrap. How do you rate it? Oh, nine out of ten, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Nine out of ten. Would, yeah. would return for some more? I would return if there's some more, honestly. Like, if they offer me three, three more, I would have some more. <laughs> some free, free more, though. Some free more, honestly. honestly. So, was, has this been the best part of your night? Uh, not the best part, but up there, up there, nine honestly. Up there. Yeah, 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 it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. Well, that's what Sizzlers does for you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does everything. It does everything. Honestly, food and food, like that's great. That's all you need. That's all you need. Food. Mm. So, why is M and M's the best place for students to come after a night out? Quite be franchise business, so he's trying the best as we can. All the students, yeah. we try and help him. Best for me, honestly, all the students come and go in here. I appreciate all of them. Okay. I hate the middle age. That's my story. <laughs> So why did you choose M&M's this evening? Uh, I was drunk and it seemed like a good idea. Honestly, this is my third and like last year at uni and and I and I don't think twice about where I would go if I wanted a pizza after my night out. I've ordered a Hawaiian because pineapple, ladies and gentlemen, goes on f***ing pizza. So we've come to the end of our night. It's very sad. Unfortunately, we've hit Almost every single drunk establishment that Bristol has to offer. Well, the, the highbrow ones, of course. And uh, there's been some highs, there's been some lows, and we still can't figure out which is our favourite. Basically, they all have a lot of arguments as to why they are the best ones on offer, and we can't quite establish which one is really the best. So I can say that we will be back for more. 100%. See you later. Thank you for tuning in.